Nice. Oh. Oh, stagger. Boom, boom. Nice. I'll take it. They have a laser slicer. I do not. <laughs> so they win the stagger fights. Boom, boom. Or the stagger damage fight, I guess I'll call it. Oh, God. Boom, boom. Oh, no. Nice. Boom, boom. Huxley's. Whoa, there it is. Dude, he was so fast. That was such a good fight, man. GG's. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Woo. Boom, boom. Nice. Oh, boy. Oh, he tried to kick. Oh, no. Ooh. What? How's he not staggered? There we go. <laughs> that works. Boom, boom. Oh, no. Ground. Have to be careful of that. Oh, dodge. Woo. Boom, boom. Oh, he went for the kick. Oh. Nice. Oh, the explosion. Boom, boom. Four bits. There we go. Bullet storm. Nice. That was a good fight for it. If I got caught, I would have died. <laughs> I wonder how I missed that. That was interesting. I think he just like dodged mid attack basically. Boom boom! Ugh! Huxley's! Woo! Uh oh. Boom boom! Come on, I need some bullet storm in this. Dude, I didn't even get. I didn't get a trigger there. The game didn't let me know! Alright, well that's fine. <laughs> Good fight. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be one of these fast fights. Okay, let's go. I like their Sailor Moon Cat as well. Very well done. Oh boy. Bullet storm! Ooh! Oh, I thought he was going to explode for some reason. <laughs> oh, that was the uh, the charge attack. Interesting. That was pretty wild. Oi! Oh, he's recharging, I guess. Ooh! He's dodging the, uh, the Trainos. <laughs> SMG! Ooh. Oh, nice. Here we go. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Oh, boy. Boom, boom. Nice. Damage. Ooh. One of those charge attacks, like, were. It was like half of my health. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Nice. Damage. Whoop. Whoop. Boom, boom. Nice. Perfect. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> boom, boom. Whoop. Dude, that's so much damage. That is pretty good. And then he also has a melee attack. Yeah, I had to get out of that. 
Yep, there's the melee attack. Boom, boom. Damage. Oh, boy. That was a good fight, man. But I'm very fast and I have a lot of bullets. Moonlight, nice. Moonlight with a shoddy, okay. We have similar builds here. We're very lightweight. Wow, this is like, I don't know. We look like yin and yang. Two sides of the lightweight coin. But okay, this should be a good fight. Let's go. Boom, boom. Oh boy. I gotta watch out for that moonlight. Oh, nice. Is that explosions? Oh, wow. Oh, God. That moonlight hurt. Oh, no. Oh! The, the, sh the kicks I did not see coming. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Damage. Boom, boom. Huxley's, nope. Huxley's gotta cool down soon. Hopefully the estrogen, yeah, nice. <laughs> The SMG was the only thing really finishing it off there. Huxley's. I need to get my... Boom, boom. Nice. Oh, boy. Woo. Now you're too far away for kicks. They're trying to hit me from a range with their missiles, but... Because they're trying to avoid the bullet orbits and the bullet storm, obviously. Boom, boom. Nice. So they're like playing out of their position a bit. It's an interesting fight for sure. Ooh, but I'm also way too fast for their uh, moonlight. So it's like they're kind of matched up in a weird spot. I have just way too much consistent firepower. Good fight. That, that, was, a, that was a good fight, man. We're both fast, but I'm, I'm built better for, for being fast. <laughs> Tripod time. Or what? <laughs> it's not a tripod, what's it called? Tetrapod, Jesus. <laughs> Woo, okay. <laughs> oh, that was that was a lot. Oh boy. That's a shame I didn't hit uh the trainers there. It's wild. Oh! Boom boom! Nice! Come on, go down. At least get staggered, dang. <laughs> Woo. Oh, they tried to go for the laser blade kick combo. Definitely good one. Woo. But I'm a little bit too fast. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> I gotta finish it. Boom, boom. Nice. All right, now I can just use my SMG. Dude, it paid off being very fast there. That's nice. Okay, Huxley's. Ah! I was a little worried. I almost got hit by that. Oh, okay, so he has a shield. I see. Oh, damage. Uh-oh, I'm getting too close. Oh, get away. Boom, boom. Woo! Oh, dude, I got hit by splash damage there. That's unfortunate. Oh. Boom, boom. I also have a boom. Oh, but they have a shield. They were. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, God. Boom, boom. Nice. Woo. Woo. I was just too fast. Holy crap, man. That was a good fight, but yeah. That tetrapod had a hard time catching up to me with those melee attacks. Okay, what's up guys? This is the bullet storm build as light as it can possibly be. I don't want, okay, so I know you're thinking, oh, lightweight, but Gatling guns are pretty heavy. Well, on this build right now, the Gatling gun is by far the heaviest thing. 
but it's the only heavy thing. Which keeps me at a clean 377 boost speed, which I really enjoy. It's very fast. Um, so the Gatling Gun's obviously a very integral part to a bullet storm because of all the bullets. <laughs> the Gatling Gun has an insane fire rate. It's always attacking with their bullets. <laughs> uh, it's, look, I'm... It's a Gatling gun. It's a very simple weapon. It shoots a lot of bullets. That's, you know, that's all I can really analyze here. The Estrogen. So, I, I haven't used this since they buffed it, but I am very happy that it's still a valuable option for a bullet storm build. I also really like it as a, let's call it an offhand weapon, where it's not a dual wield. I feel like this is one of the best, like, I don't know, like stagger support weapons, and it also keeps up a... A pressure on your opponent because of the fast uh, reload time and it also has pretty good impact for the amount of bullets it's shooting so it's it's very good for bullet storm now you could also likely use the Chang Chen but ha as you can see here I am overburdened so I really needed to just shed off a little bit of weight I'm like extremely close to the current load out there the, the overloaded load whatever <laughs> Huxley's because they're Huxley's you know they're very, very, very good at building up impact. And they are the lightest things. One of the lightest in the game. I can't even move anywhere. Like, I can put on these, but then it's not a bullet storm build. And it's not it's not going to work on the build as well as the Huxleys. So, the Huxleys are pretty integral as well. They, uh, they're light, high impact, high fire rate. The Trenos. So, these are still light. And they're still really good for the amount of stat investment you need for these. You don't need a lot. Um, I think these are the best on lightweight builds because it gives them a little bit of extra damage. And allows the impact to really, really get some damage there. The Tranos are just always reliable. The only issue with the Tranos is it holds you in place when you use them. So on a lightweight build with... 8300 AP, that's not the best case sometimes, but you can use these when your opponents are likely, you know, charging up something or trying to get ready for an attack. You can catch people by surprise with these. And they're also really good for when they stagger. I recommend waiting for them to stagger and then use these, but I use these a lot when I'm noticing the opponent is trying to set up an attack or something. So you just got to keep in mind their trajectories as an enemy and try to punish them when they're trying to recover with these, basically. And guess what? Th these are what they call them needle missile launchers, but they're non-explosive missiles. So these are technically just two really big bullets, okay? <laughs> so it's still a bullet storm. Now, if you want, you can put the Huxleys on here, but I just find these to be a little bit more viable against multiple builds. Where the Huxleys are really good against the builds you should be beating with them. I feel like the Trainos are where it can kind of... The Trainos can kind of hit outside their box a bit. So you kind of need these to adjust against other opponents. I don't know. I really like these. They're always fun to use. And they look cool. Lightweight mech. I'm using this head because I saw someone use this head with a black mech. And it looked really cool. So I wanted to do the same thing. <laughs> I don't really know what the stats are on this. To you know, like You can likely switch some other stuff here. Like, see, even this head is just objectively better. But it, I don't know. I don't I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it looked on the mech. I don't know about objectively better, but, you know. We're cutting a really close boost speed here. So, the Nock Traher, the 40 E's. I haven't used these a lot because normally I try to avoid being completely fragile. But these look so cool and I'm so fast. So, it, it works out. They don't hit me. <laughs> you know, unless you mess up your trainos or whatever uh booster is likely yeah it's like the same booster just high boost speed fcs close range medium range this is uh one of the best close range or likely the best close range uh fcs but i also have a little i you know the medium range ain't too bad here because of the trainos and stuff but you really want to get up close you really want to get up close generator um so as you can see the one with the higher boost speed for the coral generators, I'm having an energy fall off here by like a tad. 
I think the way to avoid this maybe could be dropping the Trainos for the Huxleys, maybe, but I'm not a, I'm not 100% sure with that. In any case, it's only a loss of six boost speed. So it's not that necessary. You're a lot better off with the energy capacity so you can dodge more. That's just kind of the way it is. Um, however, I do like using these uh, on builds that desperately need boost speed, but their uh, energy load is a little bit easier to deal with. I think it's better on medium X, something like that. But in any case, a whole lot of energy capacity lets you dodge a whole lot of times. So it's perfect. You're a bullet storm. You got to move fast. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you can use whatever expansion you want, to be honest, but I just like using the terminal armor. It's just simple. And it always comes in clutch, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the build. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, at, it, it pretty much won most of its fights, but it can get uh, countered by, like, kick melee builds if you get caught slipping. But in any case, if the kicks, if the kicks are behaving as well as, you know, I'm, I'm mentioning that because kicks can sometimes hit outside their hitbox and stuff. They can be, like, weird. Um, you likely can avoid most kicks, though. So, I don't know. If ROM Software has mercy on you... <laughs> Those kicks aren't going to hit you because you're too fast. And you just got to, you know, a lot of this, a lot of this, the, uh, the matchups are about anticipation. So make sure you anticipate and then you'll be fine. Pretty much. Anyway, that's the build. I wanted to break it down for you guys because this is a build I've really found to be, uh, enjoyable, consistent, and it's actually pretty good. So, yep. Thanks for watching.